So uh, hopefully directional audio actually works and it doesn't capture much of the things. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video, I want to show you guys, it's been a long time. It's been maybe a year, I haven't even looked. Uh, it's been a year since probably the last time that I updated you guys on this, on the garden. This one is going to be specifically on the garden and what will happen uh, to the garden, what will happen to the shade house, right? So let's start, let's start with the garden. Um, right now I am currently standing on the clear beds, right? So I can stand here and you guys can see there's clear beds right behind me. But if I do this and turn around, you guys see all this? All that is the garden. Um, what happened? The summer happened. Summer, uh, summer rains happened. And well, it kind of got out of control. And I didn't do anything about it. It just got overgrown. And now I am fighting the weeds to pull everything up. Uh, luckily, they actually pull up very easily. My soil is very good, loose soil. I don't have to fight with it as much. I just have to pull it up, shake it, and it comes up. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is because I am propagating a few Hoyas. For the other thing, for the other reason that I haven't done anything in the garden, this actually I started my houseplant business and so that has kept me super busy two days out of the week that I only have to do most of these, these things my days off which are my days off so I've been propping hold on let me show you one second right so I've been grabbing plants and then putting them in actual good soil because they come in kind of like a cocoa core or sphagnum moss uh, medium, which isn't good for Hoyas because they don't need to retain that much water, right? And then, so I decided to do my own mix. Um, I think I'll put it down in the description below. I'm using it, it's working okay for me. I'm not recommending it, but if you want something to start with, I'll put it down below. It's pretty good. This one, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit, so I will put the tweak version uh, in the comments below if you wanna know how to do your own potting soil for Hoyas, specifically Hoyas. Anything that it's very, it's good draining, fast draining, doesn't retain much water. It does retain a little bit. Um, but this is what's been um, basically keeping me busy, which is house plants. Let's see if the camera focuses. Come on, light up, light up, light up, light up, light up, light up. There you go. Okay, now it over focused. Okay, let's go this way. Well, it actually focused better, right? So these are my props. Right, right there. Hold on, I have a mosquito there. My props, all my Hoyas right now. Um, I cleared out a lot of, a lot of the benches, benches. They are actually uh, pallets, which you guys wanna see the plant that started it off for me. Not this specific one, but not this one. But one from same family, the same one actually got my attention and that's how houseplants started for me. Uh, that's an alocasia mycorrhiza alpha variegated. And so yeah guys, for now the garden is kind of on pause. But 
I am working towards fixing this sh shade house into a makeshift greenhouse where not a lot of rain is gonna fall through at least on half of it so that's the half I'm gonna probably put some um, some tarp something over it so it I can control a little bit of the rain because a lot of these Hoyas don't need much water some plants don't need much water some do so the other half are gonna get it right um, and then right next to this shade house I'm planning on buying a greenhouse but I need to buy a really invest really good in a good greenhouse um, which will go right next to this meaning that I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to basically give up a little bit of my garden but at the end of the day my gardening will just be um, just for fun you know just a hobby again uh, if you guys remember last year I tried it and it worked out good don't get me wrong it worked out good selling my produce but it wasn't what I wanted maybe at the time right it was it was good it was fun the mosquitoes are biting me but um, I still need to fix a little more here I need to get um, plastic pallets because the wooden pallets here in South Florida it rains so much that everything just rotten away right and bless you to that person behind in my backyard um, I have a bunch of syngonium just running down which in theory at the beginning when I started it was a good idea not anymore um, I have to get rid of a couple things I bought this right I bought this to sell it but I think it's gonna be a personal plan now alongside the other two that I have there um, so I still need to fix up a little bit get rid of some stuff um, fix underneath that that's why I need the greenhouse to kind of use it for storage a lot of things here in South Florida get hit with the Sun very heavy and they don't last much um, for example I had to buy a couple a lot of those totes again because let me show you see if I could focus that storage room that my brother made he's a handyman he's a he does a lot of stuff um, that storage room is being used but not fully so I have a lot of space there to put all those totes uh, with pre-mixed soil for well, soil for any of my house plants right um, after that is done after basically so the greenhouse is gonna go right here this is gonna have to go I'm just gonna have to shift it this way um, then I'll focus on the garden because I want to use this greenhouse the fully enclosed greenhouse to grow stuff for the garden right I want to start growing stuff again for the garden again mosquitoes are killing me it's almost October it's September mid September and the mosquitoes are still out so uh, what's gonna happen I I'm gonna try to vlog a little more consistent don't quote me on it don't hold me to it either uh, but hopefully this one comes out before the video that I want to do for the interna international aero show um, I'm super lucky that I live right where they're gonna do the one of the biggest aero shows um, it's gonna be in the fairgrounds fairgrounds right they changed it from Fairchild to the fairgrounds um, and so I'm gonna try to take try to take the camera and you know vlog and see my experience and then even do some tutorial maybe do some tutorials on how to take care of those plants whenever you get them how to acclimate them and how to make sure you don't kill none of those already stressed plants and make it super easy for 
your plan to basically survive, right? So, garden's a mess. I need to fix that. But today I still need to prop a lot of a lot of those Hoyas. So that is main concern. Then the garden and then whatever else comes, right? So guys, um, I know I went on and I ow and I you know just ranted but I felt that you know I kind of owe it to all those people that actually all the, all my subscribers that you know stuck around for a very long time I'm very consistent on being inconsistent just because I have so much going on right so I'll try and I'm sorry that it took so long to do this video but and I'm sorry to my garden right it looks horrible just looking at it. It, it well it looks horrible but I'm enjoying it and the bees are enjoying it right so it's not going to complete ways let's see if we could catch a bee right there hold on let me see if I can get you guys because you see the bee is enjoying it where'd it go see the bees are enjoying it so I kind of don't want to take that away from the bees there's flowers everywhere even though they're invasive they are everywhere but they have to go so thank you guys this video is long enough um, I'll see you guys on the next one whenever that is thanks for watching I guess subscribe if you guys want that hair keeps making me think that it's a mosquito. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. How do I use to do my outro? I forgot. Peace.